Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to do a quick look at the new ColourPop Lucky Penny collection. So in this collection, we have a nine pan eyeshadow palette. We have blush and highlighter duos and also some new luxe lipsticks. So we're going to be doing some comparisons to other ColourPop palettes as well as full swatches of everything and then a quick look at the end. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the palette first. This is the outer box. So you have pennies all over it and they have the four leaf clovers in the middle. It's really cute. And then here you have the palette itself. It comes in a copper color with glitter and then it has the penny with the four leaf clover on the front. And this is their plastic packaging versus the cardboard. Inside you have nine shades with both metallic and matte finishes. There are no pressed glitters in here and you just have those really warm tones of copper, gold, terracotta, bronze. It's really beautiful and perfect for fall. So here's a look at the swatches and I think this definitely leans toward the deeper side. You're not going to find a lot of lighter colors in here, but for those of us who have lighter skin tones, you can still use, I would say, this one as a transition color, but just keep in mind that you will get some deeper and smokier looks out of this palette. Also, I think the formula feels incredible. The shimmer shades are very smooth. There wasn't a lot of fallout, and the mattes are very pigmented as well. Next, there are three light and blush stick duos. So the first one is called My Two Cents, and in this set, the highlight is a beautiful peachy gold shade, and the blush is a terracotta shade. They're absolutely stunning. The next duo is a pretty penny. And this one I think would be perfect for lighter skin tones. The highlight is a gorgeous champagne bronze color and the blush stick is a peachy nude. Again, so beautiful. And then the third duo is good in copper. And these are both on the deeper side. So the highlight is a gorgeous coppery bronze while the blush is a deep orangey red. So here we have swatches of all three duos. The first one is the Pretty Penny Duo, which was the lightest, and the highlighter is called On a Streak, and the blush is called Cash In. The second duo is My Two Cents, so here we have Minted for the highlight and Spot Me for the blush. And then the last duo is the Good and Copper Duo, so we have Happy Accident for the highlight, and got change for the blush. Last but not least, we have some Lux Velvet lipsticks. The first one is Penny Pincher. Next up is Tried and True. And the last one is On a Roll. So here we have Tried and True, Penny Pincher, and On a Roll. And while I'm not a fan of this formula on my lips, I do find it to be a little bit drying. I love these as cream blushes and all of my Luxe Velvet lipsticks that I get, I always use them as a cream blush. So if you aren't really into matte liquid lipsticks or find that they're too dry for you, try these as a liquid blush. They last the entire day and they dry down to that powdery finish so they don't feel sticky. So that's just another alternative way to use these and I think these colors are just gorgeous. So next up, let's do some quick comparisons with the Lucky Penny palette to some other ColourPop ones that I have in my collection. The first one I wanted to do was Baby Got Peach because I noticed that in Trend Mood's comment section when she first showed the pictures of the Lucky Penny palette, everybody said it looked exactly like Baby Got Peach. But I think that must have been Trend Mood's lighting making the Lucky Penny palette look a little bit brighter or something because I don't see the similarities really between these two at all. I think Baby Got Peach is a lot lighter and brighter and more peachy while Lucky Penny is more copper and bronze and it's just a lot deeper in tone. So here's just a quick swatch comparison. And again, I really don't see a lot of similarity between these two at all. Also, the Baby Got Peach does have a pressed glitter, which the Lucky Penny one doesn't. So I could safely say that this one is not a dupe. Another palette I wanted to compare to is Bare Necessities. This is the one that I always pull out when I wanna do neutral eyeshadow comparisons because there's just so many shades in here. And looking at these two, I think Bare Necessities definitely has some of the similar warm tones, not everything, but let's see how close we can get. Okay, so not an exact match, but it definitely comes a lot closer than Baby Got Peach. I think we have a lot of really, really similar tones in here, and if you have Bare Necessities, you can definitely create a lot of those same warm-toned, 
deeper kind of smokier looks as you can with Lucky Penny. The next comparison is California Love. This is another one that I thought of because it's a very warm tone palette overall. And looking at these two side by side, I definitely see some similarities. I don't know if they're exactly alike, but let's go ahead and do some swatches. Okay, so again, not exact, but if you have California Love, I think you can probably make very similar looks with that palette. California Love also does have a pressed glitter, but it also has 12 shades to choose from, so there are a few additional ones as well. But I think that the ones I chose to compare to Lucky Penny are definitely very, very similar. Okay, so next I just want to do a few comparisons with palettes that are not ColourPop in case you might already have these in your collection. So the first palette that came to mind for me was the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay, but since I no longer have that one, I thought I would compare the Tartlet Toasted because I think that one is really, really similar to Naked Heat. And here we have both palettes, and I think these are, again, just incredibly similar. You have all the same warm tones, even if each shade isn't an exact dupe. They're still just so close. I feel like all of your looks that you would get with either palette would be just very, very similar. Next up, let's look at it next to the bronze palette from Natasha Denona. Looking at them side by side, the Natasha Denona bronze appears to have very, very similar warm tones. It does have way more shimmers than matte shades though, so I feel like I'm not going to find as many matches for the mattes. Yeah, so here I broke out the shimmer shades. There's only four in the ColourPop palette, so I tried to match those up with the shimmers in the Natasha Denona palette. Obviously, I didn't use them all because this one's very shimmer heavy, but I felt like the ones that I chose really matched up well. And then as far as the mattes, I feel like the first three match up perfectly. It's just these last two here that are more on the orangey side here in the ColourPop palette. They're just a little bit lighter and more neutral in the bronze palette, and I feel like like the mattes in this one there's a lot more of those lighter tones to choose from whereas the ColourPop one is a little bit deeper and richer so those are the major differences I see between these two but otherwise again it's very similar if you have the bronze palette already you probably don't need the ColourPop one and then the last comparisons with the Sigma ambiance palette and looking at these two together, I think they both have that really warm and toasty vibe. I'm not sure if the Sigma one is as warm, so we'll definitely be able to tell in the swatches. So yeah, when you look at the swatches, they do look very similar upon first glance, but then when you look closely, all of the Sigma shades just almost are like a slightly less warm version of the ColourPop ones. So it's kind of interesting. I think if you maybe like a warm tone shadow, but you don't want to go like super, super warm and a little bit more toward the neutral side, I think the Sigma palette is really, really beautiful for that. But if you like those really warm, like orangey base shades, then I think the ColourPop one definitely has more of that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do a look using the eyeshadow palette. So I'm starting out with the shade Token, and this is that light warm brown matte shade, and I'm just blending this all over my crease with a fluffy brush. Next, to deepen up the crease and outer corner, I'm picking up the shade Hit It Big, and this one is a really warm orangey mid-tone brown. And I just love the way these shadows blend. They're so easy to use. And then for my lid shade, I'm picking up the lightest shimmer shade in the palette, which is Shiny Objects. It's a really pretty light champagne shade with a little bit of gold. And then I just added some mascara, and this is the finished look. I think it's very, very warm toned, which is kind of what I was expecting with this palette. And this is basically what you're going to get. I think a lot of these shades, even if they look more neutral in the pan, for me, they just pull really, really orange on my skin. Next, I'm going to be using the Good and Copper Cheek Duo, and I'm going to start out with the blush stick in the shade Got Change. I really like how this blush stick is going on. I think the color is stunning, and it blends out really easily with my double-sided Beauty Pie brush. Then for the highlight, which is Happy Accident, this is actually a little bit too deep for me to use as a highlighter. I kind of realized that as I was applying it, so I decided to just use it as a blush topper. And honestly, this would make a really gorgeous shimmery blush. It's not glittery or sparkly like some highlighters are. It's really smooth, so I think if you got this duo, you could use either one of these as a blush because this one is kind of like a bronzy nude color, and I think it just looks beautiful on the cheeks. 
Last but not least, I just wanted to quickly try on the lip colors. So the first one you're seeing is Penny Pincher, and this one is probably the most neutral of the bunch. It has a little bit of pink to it. The second one is Tried and True. This one is a little bit brighter, definitely more warm and orangey. And honestly, I can't wait to try this one as a liquid blush. I think it's gonna be so pretty. And then last but not least, we have On a Roll. This one is probably my least favorite. It's a bright red. I never like how I look in red lipstick. So uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. All right, guys, so anyway, I would love to hear what you think of the new Lucky Penny collection from ColourPop. Are you planning on purchasing anything or are you planning to skip it? I always love hearing your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. As always, I appreciate it so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like eyeshadow comparisons like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.